yeah all right ethan so uh you were saying that you can't remember anything right you're saying that you, your short-term memory is pretty bad well a little bit yeah. not a little bit like what did you say to me you said to me that you can't you can barely remember anything right yeah yeah sometimes. all right just wanted to get, get put got this because again just to show you the effect of being microwave what it does to the the mind and how it affects memory and particularly short-term memory all right uh and then you, you still getting those headaches too? No. Okay. Remember you used to get the headaches? Oh, yeah. Alright? Okay. Yeah, so I just wanna just document this as I'm taking him home. Uh also come up my apartment. And under the stairs, they're throwing garbage, they drinks and all the stuff that they have barely drink or finish drinking and throwing it right underneath the stairs. And the disgusting thing is about, you know, again, when I talked about the regression of the, the regression of the mindset of black people, it's the truth. You know, we, we are regressing into, into ignorance and stupidity. You know, and it's even worse. I mean, they've been doing that because again, this is all psychological condition and psychological programming, right? And how they condition black people to behave and, and act. But they don't want to believe that. So, yeah. Hold on a sec. I'm almost done. Hold on a sec. Yeah. So, you know, I just wanted to document these things. You know, like I said, and the fact that this is this this is where you live. You live in your apartment building, and you're throwing stuff. They they're throwing stuff underneath the the garbage, which they should be putting in the garbage can. They're throwing the shit underneath the sta the staircase. Oh, they piling the shit up in the hallway when the garbage is right there outside so many people don't want to believe what i'm saying which is fine but those of us who know what's going on you know they're going to try to uh make up all the excuses and, uh, and deniability because again plausible deniability and they don't want to face the truth and face the facts they want to live in their delusion you know they want to live in their um malignant narcissistic way of thinking you know that it's all about them right that it's all about them right i know i win don't fucking look at me bastard <laughs> you stand in my face like you want to do me something bunch of pussies they got out here yeah <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this is what I'm talking about. You know, they, they they think that they slick with what it is that they've done, but they're not. Like I said, that's why. But but they're not. Okay, <laughs> it's as simple as that. See, there's a reason why they don't want me to tell my story. You know, in front of a court, or in front of a jury, or in front of anybody, because they understand what they've done. So as long as they can keep it out of the courtroom, right? And again, because it's not about. That any TI do anything wrong is about what they're doing and how they try to entrap you and try to blackmail you afterwards. Daddy, 